Being at the top of your class and, and right there near the top, was that a goal of yours when you were starting high school or at what point did it become reality for you? Um, I don't think it was a goal um, in the beginning. Um, around my junior year, I just kind of realized it and I worked really hard junior year just to make sure I stayed in the same spot. So when did the the little, I guess the, must have been an A minus I'm assuming, but when did that come in? Was that early in high school or? Yeah, that was um, sophomore year, one of my math classes. Not the greatest, but got through it. A so, minus. but you recovered yeah. and, and realized <laughs> that what you needed to do to fix that as classes got harder, you were able to maintain that. So, um, you know, going two years, perfect. Was that an accomplishment in your mind? Yeah, that was definitely an accomplishment. Um, it took a lot of hard work and Extra nights, long nights doing homework, but I'm glad I got to the place I am. Let's talk about that whole studying process. <laughs> what uh, what goes in in your mind to uh, achieving what you did? Um, a lot of it, I had to write stuff down to make sure I stayed in my brain, especially for classes like English or social studies. The way I learn is to you know keep rewriting notes, making them make sense in my brain. Um, what advice would you have for? other underclassmen that would like to maybe be in this position in the future? Um, I would say definitely work hard. There's some things you have to put on hold for academics, like um, like social life and sports sometimes. You just have to learn to balance everything out and make sure everything counts. Did you do any extracurricular activities? Yeah, I did um, sports for two, the first two years, and then the second two years I got more involved with music and musical. So, so how did you balance that with academics? Um, I definitely had to learn time management. I definitely had lots of my life scheduled out as to when I can do homework and when I can spend time with family and when I can do extracurriculars. What does the future hold for you after graduation? Um, I will be attending um, UW-Madison. Um, I'm hoping to study journalism and political science in hopes of doing political analysis and reporting. So what kind of career opportunities are there with that? <laughs> um, I'm hoping I can work for a news organization. My dream is to work in Washington and be reporting on um, polit politics and maybe eventually teaching somewhere someday. So you got to kind of be really kind of enjoying what's what's going on right now and how, how mm -hmm. media and journalism is playing a role in, in the current politics. Yes, definitely. Um, I just did a presentation in one of my other classes that was about how digital news is shaping culture and changing the way journalism is so definitely interested in studying that in college so you would like to we'd like to see you maybe at, at the white house press conferences <laughs> in the future maybe one day yeah <laughs> what is the what is the dream job though what, what like what is the top that you could take this um i guess working on political analysis so just like public policy and stuff and being able to um, report on that i'm also interested in like the investigative side so um, just analyzing policies and the way they're impacting people.